Guys, we're doing nose work, week six, and this is the moment you've been waiting for, I hope. We are going to pair an odor to the food, so that way we have our dogs starting to look for a scent on a Q-tip instead of for food in a box or in a container or in a height. So the way we're going to start, usually in our classes, we would use something like birch oil, or we would use um, anise, or we would use clove. Those are the three that we tend to use at every dog training center. Um, we usually start with birch. Um, I don't think that there's any reason why you shouldn't try something else first if that's what you have access to. Most of you won't have birch oil kicking around. It's not something you usually cook with. So we're going to use something that you all have in your uh, cabinets, I hope. Um, if you stocked up so you could bake during the pandemic, um, you should have some vanilla. If you don't have vanilla, you can use any scent that you think would be uh, not aversive to your dog. So I would not use orange, lemon, lime, things like that, citrusy things. Um, so you could try holding up some things, maybe clove, um, if you could maybe make it into a clove oil. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to just take a Q-tip, boop, and we're just going to put a couple drops on it. We're not going to like soak it. Boop, there we go. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like cookies. So Captain has never done this before with vanilla, so you get to see the entire process the way that I would teach it in a classroom. Um, we would also put this Q-tip in what we would call a tin, and maybe I'll grab one in a few minutes to show you, but it's like a little tin. Um, we have holes punched in it so the odor can get out, and it's magnetized so we can put it up on things like up on a refrigerator or on your stove. Um, the door, not the, <laughs> the lighty part. Um, but what we're going to just start with today for week six is just pairing this with food. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to hold this up for Captain. I'm going to see if I can get more of that vanilla on the second half of the Q-tip there. All right. So his breakfast is here. Here's Captain. He's ready. Yes. So he's just sniffing it. Yes. So now I'm going to start to say, find it. Find it. Yes. Good job. Find it. Yes. Good job. You can see his nose is working really hard. I'm going to see if I can bring this a little closer to him so you can see. Find it. Yes. Good job. Now I'm going to start to feed it at the source now that you guys are right here and can see what I'm doing. Find it. Yes. Find it. Yes. I don't want him to eat it. Yes. Ready? Find it. Yes. So just like we do before with the boxes, we feed at the source. Find it. Yes. Good job. So right there, right where he's still getting that odor in his nose. All right. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to put this in a box with food and we're going to go back to that box game that we did week one. But now we're going to do it with this odor and food. And as time goes on, we start to put less and less food in with that box. Um, and then he's only going to be hunting for just this in the boxes. Then you can go back through the class, settle. Then you can go back through the class with this instead of with food. So every time in like week two, where we start adding heights, you would put this in a box and then have your dog hit on that with or without food, depending on where they are. Um, if your dog is getting a little frustrated, it's okay. You go back to just adding food and boxes with their odor and then come off of the food. They find the odor, treat, 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 treat at the source until they're looking for this in a container or just out in the world. All right. So let me get the boxes up. Stay. Um, while I was looking for the boxes um, to show the box game, I found the hot container that I was using when we were doing the, um, uh, the nose work stuff at the Museum of Science last month. <laughs> Guess I didn't clean that out. Um, and I found my tin. So my tin has a magnet. This is a C on it for clove. And inside there's Q-tips that, um, that had a couple drops of clove oil on it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you guys how this will eventually look if you practice really hard. I'm just going to put that right there. Um, Captain's on the other side of the room, so I'm going to ask him, Cap, find it. So I don't know if you guys can see him coming in. Find it. 
Yes. So I'm going to feed him here at the source where I put the odor. Find it. Yes. Good job. So in, when I said in week one, you're not always just going to be looking for food in a box. This is what I meant. Um, but we have to, between getting from the boxes and food to this, what Captain just did over here, we're going to go back through the course. Um, but we're now going to put vanilla laced, <laughs> vanilla laced Q-tips with the food in the, in that hot container. And then we're going to go through the box game where we have three boxes. So let's try that. I'm going to get the box now, now that I know where my tin is. I'm going to have Captain look for the vanilla though, because this is something that he's never looked for. So we're going to pair it to him in the same way that you guys would pair your dogs to your odor. Okay, so I'm in my bedroom, so there's not a lot of room. But one, two is where the, the odor is, and three is farther away. I'm going to take some of his breakfast kibble here. You can see I already have the Q-tip in there. I'm just going to put some food in here too. And now I'm going to ask him to find it. I don't have any room <laughs> for me to go anywhere, so I'm just going to sit here. Um, hopefully you're not getting too much of a shot. Alright, Captain, find it. So he's checking. Yes. Good boy. So I'm going to open the box and let it eat the food that's inside with that odor. <laughs> Please don't eat the Q-tip. And I'm going to continue to feed him at the source of the odor. Good boy. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Sit. Stay. I'm going to keep it in the same spot. Again, we want to make this really easy for them. Like, we don't want them to fail. We want this to be really easy for them. So I'm going to move out of the way again. Captain, find it. Find it. Dude. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to feed him here at the source. Open that box that he crushed. Good boy. Leave it. There we go. He's trying to eat this. So. Good boy. Okay. So now you can see why we use tins. Leave it. Thank you. Sit. Stay. Um, now you can see why. Ah, ah, ah. Captain. Down. Stay. Now you can see why we use tins, because he is trying to eat this Q-tip. So I have to find a way to protect this. Um, I can actually just use one of the tins that I have. But if you don't have a tin, maybe you can use like a little, um, a tiny little Tupperware and poke holes in the top. Um, or you don't really want to put this in plastic, because then the odor can't get out. Um, so like a plastic wrap or a plastic baggie or something. Um, but be creative. Maybe you can find like a tiny little cardboard box and put that in the little cardboard box, put a bunch of holes in it, and then put that box in one of these boxes. So you could do something like that as well. Um, so we're going to have to be creative. Um, but that is your assignment for nose work, week six. <laughs> He's like, but I like vanilla now. <laughs> I think he found it. Um, always, always, always reward if they hit on it, even if you're not asking for it, because you really want to put money in the bank. So here he is climbing up, trying to be like, I found it. Yes, <laughs> good boy. Um, and then if you guys have completed this, we can test you when you come into the facility. We can go through maybe like a one or two week class situation in person. So your dogs can get used to doing this at a different site. And if they're doing really well and you've got them paired on an odor of whatever you like that isn't harmful to your dog. I'm sure other people have come up with things too, so you can always look online. Um, hi. <laughs> then we can maybe move you guys straight into a nose work two class um, or an odor two class or, sorry, an odor 
one class nose work to or scent work depending on the instructor. Um, remember, nose work is a trademarked term, so only nose work certified nose work instructors can teach it. I do not have that certification. Um, I do scent work, which is the non, I'm going to get sued if I talk about it kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of teaching style. Oh, good boy. Boop. But have fun with it. Um, if you guys need any resources, please reach out. Um, contact information, all that stuff will be down here. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> guys, thanks for joining me with this. Um, this hasn't been easy. You guys have been doing really hard. Thank you for being troopers. Um, and I look forward to meeting you guys actually in person someday. I really do. Um, for more information about what we're doing, you can go to Every Dog Training Center um, and maybe purchase a gift card that can really help. Um, that can help Diane and the rest of the trainers be able to keep the business afloat while we're closed. That is huge. You can rate and review the training center or any of the trainers. Um, I'm not um, taking money for the classes that I'm doing on the side here. Um, so if you like my training videos and you like um, the, the daily training challenges or the classes that I'm putting up online and you did not um, join us through Every Dog Training Center, you can go ahead and you can um, you can maybe look up my book Considerations for the City Dog. Um, that will probably be my only income for a little while. So if you could um, be so kind as to maybe check that book out, Considerations for the City Dog. If you like it, tell your friends. If you've already read it, review it. Um, tell your friends. That would be a huge, huge, huge help. And if there are other trainers out there that you really like, we're all working really hard to try to um, to help you and um, and help your dogs um, and keep ourselves sane. So for me, this is keeping me sane, and this has really been helpful for me. And I hope it's been helpful for you. Captain, sit down. He is so hungry. This has not been helpful for him at all. <laughs> um, but I would implore that if you have a trainer friend or a dog walker friend or a veterinarian friend or somebody who uh, who works in rescue or is a breeder or is working with animals and is struggling, reach out and ask what you can do to help. Um, even just knowing that somebody's asking can be a great, great, great help. Um, so thank you very much and hopefully I'll see you guys in person if you guys are in the Metro Boston area after all this passes. Oh my god. I'm a dog trainer, guys. I'm a dog trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.